Hey, Luna, what in the tarnation's going on here on Potts Mountain? Well, our battery went dead before we got to capture the snow here on the mountain, but it is absolutely a uh, beautiful looking day. Uh, it's warmed up. Well, it hasn't warmed up. It just kind of quit snowing. The sun came out for a minute. We're about 25 degrees. All right, me and Luna have spent a few nights up here on the mountain. She's had a good time. She's able to chase a few deer. And uh, she wants to go out at 3.30 in the morning. And uh, that's what we've been doing. Uh, we uh, tried to capture some pictures of the snow when we arrived. Uh, beautiful scene. It's just uh, everything's covered in snow. But then we had a really, really cold night. It was 10 degrees. And I was able to scavenge. You can see I've been scavenging some wood. Um, shame I got a wood pile the size of the house and I've been scavenging wood for my house and uh, laying on the ground but we were able to keep the wood stove going um, I had an aunt named Aunt May who lived in Burke's Garden and she kept a warm morning stove and I think her house was not insulated and uh, we would go there and it would literally be almost 100 degrees in the room so my experience was it got down to 10 degrees and I loaded the stove up pretty good Next thing I know, it was 85 degrees inside the house. So I have finished priming. We have primer on all the walls uh, in the house. And I have, uh, that includes the mud room and the uh, bedrooms. This will be the lavender bedroom. The other will be the mint, bath, uh, mint bedroom. We're having uh, Mark come up and work on the tile Sometime next week, so I need to get this room and the bathroom painted. <laughs> Trust me, it's nobody. But uh, she's uh, constantly vigilant, looking out for uh, <clears throat> the wildlife and the deer hunters. Probably should put her orange vest on. But uh, here's the bathroom. It's first bathroom, first room that I put some collar onto. And I said, I did not want anything gray or beige. So we will be treated to some interesting colors. This is a, a, a light baby blue. Like we said, this bedroom here will be uh, mint and the bedroom on the other side will be lavender. Here will be kind of a, a tannish brown uh, on the main body of the house. So, uh... Hey, good morning. It's about a week later from the beginning of this video. I had some cheap Chinese batteries that wouldn't hold up in the cold weather, but we're back here on the mountain to do some work. And, um, you know, sometimes you wonder, will things be the way you'll think they'll be? And uh, I think they're like, I thought they would be. So uh, as I was driving in this morning, I saw our neighbor who lives up here full time with uh, a bunch of kids driving in Newcastle and her car had about a couple inches of snow on it. So, so I got up 311, get up to the top of pots. Uh, we could definitely see, um, the snow and it's a it's a different snow than it was at the beginning of the uh, uh, last week last week was kind of a real dry snow this is more, a little bit more wet uh, Luna come here Luna Luna is uh, decked out in her safety vest because this is bear season and unfortunately she looks a little bit like a bear so we're gonna keep her close by and keep her in her safety vest when she's outside I think bear season lasts uh, I think it's about a week so we're about in the middle of it but yeah, we were greeted to some um, uh, really uh, surprised that uh, I knew there was a chance for some snow in West Virginia. But I guess given our elevation, 3,700 feet, we are prime condition for some snow. So uh, yeah, it's uh, absolutely beautiful. And the uh, blue on the house looks even more beautiful in the snow. And the, uh, when the uh, light's filtered, it looks more gray. And then the bright light, it looks a little more pur purple. So let's go up and take a look inside. Oh, there's Luna's possum that she keeps her toy. She keeps uh, hiding it and uh, putting it under the house and different places, but she does keep up with it. Of course, Maynard's been doing uh, what Maynard does, carrying stuff up here. So we have our uh, hot water heater here on the porch. Something uh, uh, partial of what we need for water softener. We have a lot of iron in the water and a uh, um, low pH 6.5. So 
Something Teresa is super excited about and says she will not stay up here until we have it is the commode. So we're hoping maybe tomorrow we'll get the commode. I think I'm going to give up on my drywall people ever coming and picking up their mess. So I guess that's going to be up to me to haul off. But I was pleased uh, with a couple space heaters. We're about uh, 28 degrees outside. It was uh, 70 inside. So um, I'm getting ready to light the fireplace. I'm going to try to paint a little bit. Some more drywall supplies. I'm thankful for Lowe's. I'd had a five gallon bucket of paint. If you haven't priced uh, good paint anymore, five gallon bucket's $280 and it had uh, chunks in it. So I was a little perturbed. I went to Lowe's and said, if any time it's been less than 30 days, they will issue you uh, a refund. And I was able to buy some uh, another bucket of paint and it's behaved beautifully. I'll probably put a second coat on here. One thing I told Teresa was I did not want any boring colors like grays and beige. And you can see this room's not boring. This is kind of a lavender. I know it's a little bit hard to see about the light. It looks blue, but it's really lavender. So it's a, uh, a neat color. This is the mud room. Mark was here yesterday or two days and worked on the tile. We're thankful for him. We've got the tile on the board up here. And um, so this would be, uh, I believe it's going to be a real functional, durable surface. I'm going to have to repaint this room. It had a few chunks in it. So, um, yeah, all things in time. Right, Luna? All things in time. Don't eat drywall. And um, this bathroom is definitely not boring. <laughs> so we got the same tile pattern here, and that's a blue. And I'll tell you what. That's a pretty nice shade of blue. I did get two coats on these walls. Saved enough for a little bit of touch up when they did the trim work. So the next step will be, we got to finish flooring and the rest of the house. And this is the bedroom. Hopefully I'll paint today, given the uh, <coughs> kind of the parameters of keeping Luna and everyone off of the, um, off of the uh, uh, new tile work, at least for another day. This should be the room to work in. But I've got to still do this hallway. And there's, you know, there's another two or three days of interior paint. I uh, think we're going to do luxury vinyl. I'll switch over and do that. We'll take a look at the other exciting piece. Um, and uh, yeah, I know I said every video, but yeah, it's a beautiful view this morning. Yesterday was super clear. I guess this way the, the front had pushed through, but uh, nice, beautiful view this morning. We're right at, let me see here, 30 degrees. So it's warmed up a couple degrees. You have enjoy the snow while we have it because uh, I'm sure the sun's going to come out and maybe melt some of it off. But uh, all right, Luna, watch your step here, honey. The other big news is we had uh, the electricians return. They put the breaker box in, and now I have an outdoor. I guess it's a meter meter service. And so the next step is uh, Craig bought a tot. No, it's not next step. Next step is the Craig County building inspector has to come look at the work for this meter head and the breaker box. And then Craig bought a tot can come and attach the wire that's here and then come out here. And if you look at the bottom of the pole, um, that's the underground wire that's running that conduit. The conduit it was <clears throat> $53 a 10 foot stick. So we have our um, uh, wire there and it can make the permanent connection. The big deal with that would be the electricians wired up my HVAC. So we can be able to get the HVAC turned on once I get Blue Ridge um, heating and air to come back here. Luna, you gotta leave that vest on. Safety first, honey, safety first. So uh, Blue Ridge Heating Air, they can hook that up, and then they hooked me two outlets inside the house on temporary power. But uh, yeah, beautiful morning up here. Pleased that it's as warm as it is uh, inside. The house is insulated to current specs, and uh, current specs are pretty good. And um, yeah, I don't know what the temperature is in Roanoke, but I'm sure it's probably, on average, it normally runs about 10 degrees uh, lower. Electrician did give us a list of things that we need to provide as far as the um, for um, light fixtures. Not a whole lot. A couple ceiling fans, well, four ceiling fans, 
a fixture outside and a bathroom pendant and everything else they will provide. But uh, yeah, beautiful morning up here. Should have worked on this log pile uh, this summer and I would have a pile of firewood. I might have to actually buy some firewood. I, you know, I won't burn anything. It's just less, it's uh, well seasoned. But um, yeah, it looks like I got enough work for next summer to cut and dry all this off. But uh, so, well, let me get the fireplace going to keep it dry on the inside. And it'd be good to burn it while I'm here. And then um, since we had the microwave, I might have me some oatmeal this morning for breakfast and uh, chicken noodle soup for lunch. That sounds pretty good. Come on, Luna. I think she's really enjoying the snow. Luna, come on. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Luna. 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 Sit. Sit. Hey, sit. Good girl. Good girl. All right, Luna. You say goodbye to everyone. All right, Luna says bye. She's leaving. Till next time, take care. Well, there goes our plumber. We'll go in and see some of his handiwork. And in case you're wondering, I gave in, loaded the drywall into the cart. I'll have to make several trips to haul off the drywall. So um, if I want to haul it off, I guess I'll have to. I was gonna mention that now I'm uh, taking a delicious drink. I'm drinking the water straight from the well. Uh, I don't know what special health properties it has, but it hasn't killed me yet. And I think it tastes fine, but it, we had to put a system to, uh, this is some of the gear. I think I already showed you some of the stuff we need to uh, treat the water, including reverse osmosis, like we saw in India. But I have a special treat for you. I'm gonna show you inside. Mm, it's good water. Pretty comfortable in here. It's uh, still got a little snow left from yesterday's snow a bit, but the wood stove is burning. She's doing fine. Got her cut back a little bit before I head down the mountain. Good, good. But this is something we're super excited about. And uh, well, this is the build up here. Here's the hot water heater. Hot water heater is now installed and uh, it's not turned on for electricity, but uh, when I cut the water on, we had one of the valves up here turned on, so we shot many gallons of water throughout the floor, so I'm trying to dry that up. But this is something Teresa has requested before she'll spend the night, and this got installed today. This is the commode in vanity. I don't have to uh, work on the vanity, the mirror, and the backsplash. But um, here's some action here. Ready? Wow. You don't fully appreciate that until you've had to go outside to the uh, uh, porta potty when it's 10 degrees outside. You will not linger looking at your phone when that's going on. So we're super thrilled to have a commode and I want to save and let Teresa christen it uh, when we come along. And then yesterday, this is the uh, mint room. It's a uh, light green. Like I said, I didn't want any boring colors and and I sure did take care of that. So uh, between uh, lavender, mint, and a baby blue, and then I've got to finish maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday, I will finish painting the brown and put some more brown onto the, um, I'll use what product I have and get on these walls, the only chance you have to do that. All right, uh, we'll update you more. Who knows, maybe we'll have permanent power by then. We did get a, um, the inspector came by and gave us uh, permission to connect permanent power. So we're waiting for uh, Craig Bodetot Electric Co-op to come by and take care of that for us. And when they do, uh, we can have the electricians come back and the electricians can um, wire everything up. We'll have the heat pump running and um, <clears throat> that'd be nice. It'd be nice to have lights and power and um, and uh, running water. Gosh. But you can see it is approved. So we're approved. It's been kind of windy today. We saw a large uh, 
I think it's a C-10 military plane. Swooped by pretty close. Sometimes they do touch and goes there in Roanoke. Not really sure. But as usual, it's pretty quiet up here on the mountain. The only thing you hear is a little noise from the jet planes. But um, till then, take care.